As a result of a landmine blast in the Donbas conflict zone, Ivan was hospitalized with shrapnel wounds. I got here on the fifth day since the so-called grain truce was declared. My friend from the same military unit also came with me to the hospital. That day we just returned from duty and immediately came under militant attack. We did not even have time to neutralize the attack. Shrapnel hit my chest and punctured my lungs. Doctors fought for my life. I'm very grateful to them. Here is the entrance and over there is the exit. Dimitro had been serving in the 92nd Air Mobile Brigade for four years when he was hit by a bullet of a militant sniper. The soldier says that it's a miracle he survived. It felt like shell shock. I saw that a friend was standing behind me. I made three steps back and fell down. I was bleeding while lying on the ground. I remember everyone running up to me. Everyone was trying to take care of my neck, and it turned out that my artery was cut. I remember only the first five minutes when they carried me out on a stretcher. That's all I remember. Since early childhood, Dimitro dreamed of being a sniper himself. He believes that after recovery, he will return to the front line. I've always dreamed of it since childhood. I liked it and I was fond of strike ball. Then, when the war started, I made the decision to go to the east of Ukraine. That was exactly what I needed. The grain truce is linked with the need to gather the harvest. Yet in the two weeks since it started, two Ukrainian servicemen have been killed. Truce or no truce. These wounded servicemen were brought to the hospital in extremely serious conditions. They had some operations in military field hospitals. They also underwent surgery with us. But we will be able to say for certain their cause of death only after one and a half or two months when we receive a forensic report and medical examination. Despite the grain truce, which was announced on July 1st and continues to this day, 25 servicemen with different wounds and injuries have been taken to the Kharkiv military hospital over the past 13 days.